So let's get started in setting up a new Skype 3.8 account for voicemail broadcasting. This is a new account. You can see I've got no contacts in here. And you can follow me along uh, over the next several months as you can watch me build up the contacts for this account as well in my training series. Once we've got this account open, you'll probably see a notice saying something about an up upgrade. You can click on it and let it open a browser window just so that it takes the notice out of Skype and then close that browser window without upgrading. But your next step would be to go into Tools, Options, Advanced, and make sure there is no check mark here when a new major version of Skype is available or when a new hotfix is available. So remove those check marks. Go into General, update your profile with your own contact details. It's always important to have your contact details on your Skype profile. You want contacts, yes? And you click Update. And inside the Skype window again, you click on Tools, Voicemail, and on that screen, you want to click on the option that says Buy Skype Voicemail, which, by the way, is a free option. You're not actually having to buy it. We click Close that front message, sign into Skype, enter our Skype ID. Note the Skype ID is actually a URL, a full URL. That's really kind of important, and I'll talk more about that in later voice broadcasts. I'm going to sign in. We want to look to see where it has the voice messages. Click on that option. You got to set up the account properly. Got to activate my voice messages now. This button here, you click on that. And you, it takes you to a screen. And you'll see that voice messages up here now has a green dot beside it. And underneath it says your voice messages are active. Underneath that, the, in the green box, it says they're enabled. Okay, that's all you need to do inside there. Then we can sign out. One other part of the setup uh, for voicemail broadcasting is you need to be able to record uh, voicemails and it has to be in the correct format and the free product that I recommend that we use is one called Audacity. It's a, a free product in the open source environment. So that's the one I use. That's what I would recommend that you get. And you can see that the address for it is up here. Uh, Audacity.sourceforge.net Okay, so you can go get that there. Now inside Skype we can save those options, go back into the main Skype window, click now again on Tools and Voicemail, and you'll see that that second screen now changes. Instead of the option to go by Voicemail, it now changes because your Voicemail activated so that you can record your own uh, Voicemail greeting um, or use the default, etc. Play around with that, see what you like, but just make sure you set it up. Uh, you can tell it when that you want it to kick into the voicemail. So if you don't answer the call, it goes in there. How long? Well, I don't know. Maybe if you don't answer for five seconds or something. If you reject a call, send them to voicemail. If you're already in a call, yeah, send them to voicemail. Okay then save that. It's really important to, to set all this part up because what that does later is when you're searching for people for whatever reason it ends up giving you a whole lot more people that you can talk to that are voicemail activated. Let me show you an example of that. 
right here inside Skype itself, we can search for users. Let's say we're going to search for David. Okay, so let's look for um, just a David in the, here's a David in the United States. We'll look at their profile. Okay, so there's David. He's 18. He speaks English. He's in Mountain Grove. Uh, we click on m menu. Look what we can do. We can if we, this guy's a total stranger. We can if we want to send him a voicemail. Isn't that kind of Skype to allow us to do that? Now here's the thing. If I send him a voicemail, he's not only going to get a voicemail from me, but he's also going to get an email from Skype saying that he has a voicemail from me. And when Skype sends that email to him, what they're going to do is they're going to send him my Skype ID. You got an email from www.messagemagic.net. Well, that link, that name, is becomes a hyperlink inside the email that he gets from Skype. So he can actually click on that link and be taken directly to the Message Magic site. So think about that. If you've got an opportunity and you have a domain name that points to your referral link, then create a Skype account using that domain name, the full thing, the www.yourdomainname.com or .net or .ca or .us or whatever it is. And if you send him a voicemail, he c he's going to get an email from Skype that he can click on and be t taken directly to your opportunity. So now, if he gets a voicemail talking about your opportunity that comes from you, and he gets an email from Skype that includes a clickable link, this is powerful stuff. <laughs> now, I showed you with just one person. Here, I can go look at their profile and I can send them a voicemail. Well, guess what happens? when we combine the power of message magic with what we can do here in Skype. Yes, I'll be showing you that shortly.